This is probably a bit of a bold claim, but in our opinion, there is no form of media on planet Earth that can evoke emotion in its audience quite like a video game can. Think about it, you're spending several hours, if not days, of gameplay with a character making choices for them and often doing everything you can to keep them alive. So there's little wonder that we often start feeling things whilst playing our favourite titles. Not all of the emotions we experience are nice ones though, as the events of certain games can make us feel scared, angry or upset. Whilst that's not necessarily a bad thing, sometimes we like to be entertained without having to prepare ourselves for an emotional battering. For this list, we're looking at some titles whose sole purpose is to spread a little joy to the world, be it through their cheerful storylines, their beautiful artwork and world building, or their wacky sense of humour. If they can raise a smile, they're welcome here. I'm Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are 10 happy video games to brighten up your day. Number 10, Kirby's Epic Yarn. In and of himself, the little pink blob known as Kirby is already a character that can put a smile on even the most miserable of faces. So seeing him plonked into a world made entirely of colourful bits of cloth is nothing short of joyful. If the overall look of Kirby's epic yarn isn't enough to have you feeling all warm and fuzzy on the inside, then its plot surely will. After eating a cursed tomato, Kirby is banished to Patchland, a world made entirely of fabric. Stripped of his powers, but not his candy attitude, Kirby endeavours to help Prince Fluff gather the necessary magical yarns to reunite the separated Patchland. As players platform their way through the game, they can interact with the patchwork scenery by using Kirby's yarn whip to activate zips, pulleys and buttons. There are also beads to collect and an apartment for Kirby that players can decorate however they'd like. Admittedly, the adorable platformer isn't much of a challenge for more seasoned gamers, but the innovative art style and how it's incorporated into the gameplay more than makes up for that. Besides, there's nothing that can ruin your day quite as quickly as a level you can't beat, so sometimes it pays to take it easy. Number 9, The Adventure Pals. If you've ever watched Adventure Time and found yourself chortling at the show's silly humour, then it's likely you'll get a kick out of The Adventure Pals, the 2018 platformer from developer Massive Monster. The Adventure Pals is a follow-up to 2012's Super Adventure Pals, an award-winning browser-based game that's free to play. The game begins on the protagonist's birthday as he's gifted a pet giraffe by his father. Things soon take a turn, however, as the evil Mr. B shows up, kidnaps Dad and shares his plan to turn old people into hot dogs. Yikes, that got real dark real fast. In terms of gameplay, The Adventure Pals combines traditional 2D platforming with just a sprinkle of RPG elements. Players will need to fight their way through heaps of kooky enemies, including a giant angry tree and a boss made of breakfast food if they've got any hopes of saving their dear pops. The combat isn't hugely challenging, but that does make the game nice and accessible to inexperienced and or younger players, or those just looking for a less intense experience. The whole thing is a bunch of weird, wacky and silly fun, and thanks to local co-op, you can even get a friend in on all of the kooky action. Number 8. Any of the LEGO games You couldn't possibly expect us to have a list of happy games without at least one wildcard entry! Don't those noises just fill you with joy? Indeed, we couldn't possibly pick just one of the many LEGO titles, as they're all equally fun. We're not quite sure what it is about seeing our favourite pop culture icons transformed into minifigures that fills us with childlike glee, but it's basically impossible to play through any of the LEGO games without feeling a little bit better about the world. Though there are dozens of titles bearing the LEGO branding, undoubtedly the most enjoyable are those based on licensed properties. The first franchise to get the LEGO treatment was the Star Wars prequel trilogy in 2005. A game which allows players to experience all of the action of Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, but without all of Anakin Skywalker's whinging. I don't like sand. Since then, everything from The Lord of the Rings to the Harry Potter series has had its stories retold in brick form, and all with a dash of silly humour for good measure. I personally defy anyone not to crack a smile as they watch Obi-Wan Kenobi trying and failing to get his lightsaber to work. Number 7. Bug Snacks. If you're looking for a game that's cutesy on the outside but kind of dark and twisted beneath the surface, then you might get along with Bug Snacks. The 2020 adventure title from indie studios Young Horses that's exclusive to PlayStation and PC. A 
Aesthetically, Bug Snacks is adorable. The plot follows an unnamed journalist as they travel to the mysterious Snacktooth Island to document the phenomenon known as Bug Snacks. The Bug Snacks turn out to be creatures that are half insect, half food, which sounds like it would be disgusting, but trust us, in practice, it's actually very charming. The main aim of the game is to traverse the island and find and capture as many of the bug snacks as possible. Don't be fooled by the colourful graphics and friendly NPCs though, because the island is hiding a dark secret and it's up to the protagonist to uncover it. Don't get us wrong, the initial light-hearted feel of the game will certainly bring cheer to players. All we're saying is that in order to prevent the darkness of the plot from creeping in, you will need to stare into the eyes of this strabby for a while. Look at him! He's so cute! Don't let in the existential dread, just focus on the strabby! There! Isn't that much better? Number 6. Piku Niku Sometimes, you need a little injection of fun in your life but you just don't have much time to dedicate to hours and hours of gameplay. Well, fear not, my slightly miserable chum, because the short but sweet Piku Niku will have you enjoying yourself in no time. Though most players are able to complete the game in around three hours, what Piku Niku lacks in size, it more than makes up for in personality. Firstly, it's difficult to get over just how endearing yet simplistic the colourful geometric art style is. The main character is just a circle with legs and a pair of dots for eyes, and yet somehow the devs have managed to pack a whole load of personality into them. Though childlike in presentation, Piku Niku is a game that can be enjoyed by anyone. The platforming and puzzles are fairly straightforward, but where the game truly shines is in its sense of humour. One of the first beings you meet is a ghost that tells you it's dangerous to go alone, take this, before revealing that his gift is in fact his full moral support because he's a ghost and he doesn't have much to offer. Additionally, the game also throws the player into ridiculous but hilarious situations without much explanation as to why. My personal favourite was the toast level. Because what's more exciting than a place that's just full of toast? Number 5. Unpacking you might not think that a game where your only task is to unpack boxes of stuff into someone's new home would be particularly enjoyable, but trust me when I say that unpacking is incredibly cathartic. Released in 2021, Unpacking follows an unnamed woman as she moves home throughout her life, beginning in her childhood bedroom in 1997. There are no time limits or scores, and the only thing that players need to do is ensure that the contents of each box find a place within each space. As you go through the game, the woman's story unfolds through the items that join her on her journey, those that she leaves behind, and through the possessions of others that she encounters. The game is presented in colourful pixel art and features an incredibly soothing soundtrack, as well as over 14,000 item pickup and placement sounds that are just oh so satisfying. One of the other great things about unpacking is how accessible it is, as the developers have included a number of mobility and sensory options that ensure as many people can play the games as possible. After all, the more people that can play, the more that can experience the joy of gaming. And if that thought doesn't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what will. Number 4. Wonder Song here at Team Triple Jump, we are of the belief that even if you're not big and tough, that doesn't mean you can't still be a hero. And no game proves that in such a colourful way as 2018's Wonder Song. Unlike other games, Wonder Song uses music as its central mechanic, and the player is able to control the notes that the game's protagonist sings by selecting different colours on a wheel. Doing so will cause a variety of things to happen depending on the situation, like convincing birds to lift the player character onto higher platforms or vanquishing enemies. Visited in his dream by a messenger of the goddess Aya, the protagonist sets out to prevent the destruction of the universe by gathering pieces of the Earth Song, which, when sung, the composition has the power to save the world. Along with its unique mechanics, Wonder Song features colourful construction paper style graphics and a gloriously cheery soundtrack, elements that come together to give the game a delightful sense of whimsy that is sure to put a smile on your face. Oh, and there's also a dance button, which is always a good time no matter the circumstances. Sorry, I can't feel sad today, I'm too busy grooving! Number 3, Little Big Planet. We've already covered a couple of cheery platformers on this list, and though our previous entries are great for cracking a smile, they won't exactly get the creative juices flowing. Enter Little Big Planet, a game that not only allows its audience to play levels built by the devs, but that also encourages them to create their own levels and share them with their friends. The story mode consists of eight different creations, each of which was based on locations on Earth. 
Thanks to the content creator, however, the fun didn't stop once the story was over, as players could play the published levels of fans from all over the world. In addition to making their own levels, players got to enjoy surroundings that looked like they were made of cardboard, fabric and other such things you might find lying about the house, as well as the dulcet tones of national treasure Stephen Fry as he guided them through the game. You're happy! Sadly, the first Little Big Planet was a PS3 exclusive, meaning that unless you have a legacy console or the technical capabilities to emulate it, it's no longer available to play. With that said, Sackboy fans can still get that big serotonin boost from Little Big Planet 3, so it's not all bad news. Number 2 Cake Bash when you were growing up, at some point or another, an adult probably told you that it was impolite to play with your food. Well, thanks to our friends over at High Tea Frog, you can now flip the bird to those adults by playing Cake Bash, the most delicious looking party game we've ever clapped eyes on. Cake Bash is a multiplayer title that tasks up to four people with beating the crumbs out of each other using different confectionaries. Each arena has different goals to fulfil, so players might need to cover their cake in tiny sweets one minute and throw fruit into a pie the next. If brawling becomes a bit much, there are also several mini-games for players to sink their teeth into. Carefully stack scoops of ice cream onto a cone, pipe cream into a scone, and try to toast the perfect marshmallow, all whilst you race against the clock and try to outdo your friend. It's even got a battle royale mode, because of course it does, which is rather adorably titled Fork Knife. You know, I really want to be mad at that pun, but every time I look at the adorable faces on those cakes, I just can't bring myself to be angry. And number one, Katamari Damacy. When it comes to Katamari Damacy, we recommend not thinking too hard about its premise and focusing on the actual gameplay instead. After all, it's easy to get caught up in an existential crisis when you wonder about the effect that destroying all of the stars in the universe would have on day-to-day -day life. If you forget about the fact that the king of all cosmos has gone on a drunken bender and destroyed half the galaxy though, you'll find that Katamari Damacy is an awful lot of cutesy fun. In each level, players simply need to guide the prince and his Katamari so that he can collect matter with which to rebuild all of the stuff that his dad has wrecked. Anything smaller than the Katamari will stick to it, and as the ball of stuff grows, the prince can pick up larger and larger items. Though it can get a little tense trying to grow your Katamari to the necessary size within the allotted time, the small amount of stress you'll feel is quickly offset by the game's colourful art style and jolly soundtrack. Sure, you'll be doing pretty much the same thing for the entirety of the game's runtime, but we can guarantee that you'll be filled with so much joy, you won't find the energy to care.